I've got a question for you. What do you think okay. happens to us after we die? Go into the afterlife. Oh, reincarnation. Okay. Reincarnation. Do you believe there's a God? Yes. I do. Yep. And so do you think that, like, you'll go to heaven? What do you think? It depends on it depends on you, like, the decisions you've made. Okay, so are you guys good people? Yes. Uh, I am. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. say you're anybody's a good person because a lot of uh, human beings make mistakes in general. So it's like... Um, For example, um, have you ever lied before? Everyone has. Yes, yeah, I have. have you ever stolen something? Yes. Yeah. What about this one? Have you ever used bad language before? Oh, oh no. yes. Right. So if, if God is going to judge you based on those things, would you be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Right. Guilty. So, but therefore, I mean, so what are we going to say? I said I'd be guilty, but I mean, if he's willing to forgive me, then she might as well just let me into heaven. Okay. It's just that he can't forgive us. Just like a judge in a court of law can't just forgive all the criminals and let them go free because that wouldn't oh be justice. My. Right? Uh -huh. So I if we're guilty, up. then, do we deserve to go to heaven or hell? Hell. Heaven. Yeah. Hell. And hell's not where you want to go to. It's a lake of fire. It goes on forever. So what do you think you could do so that you don't get sent there? Oh, be an innocent girl. Okay. Ask God for forgiveness. All right. Let's say a criminal stands before a judge and says, Judge, I murdered somebody yesterday, but I'm really sorry. Won't do it again. Would the judge let him go free? No. No, you have to serve your time. Same thing with us and God. Even even if we say to him, God, I'm sorry, I won't sin ever again. He's still going to say, you've got to, still got to serve your time, which is hell forever. And so let's say you become really good people from now on. Does that get rid of all the bad things you've done in the past? No. 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 So the only way that we can actually get to heaven is if someone takes our hell punishment for us. But it's got to be someone perfect. So do you know of anyone who's, who's lived perfectly? Nope. There's I only been yeah, one. And that was time. Jesus. Right? What happened to him 2,000 years ago? He sacrificed himself for us. Yeah. So if he takes the punishment for every sin you've done, where would you go when you die? Heaven. Right. So based on what we've just said, what's the reason you're going to heaven? God. Because Jesus because sacrificed God himself. Exactly right. So the only thing you've got to do to get to heaven is to trust that Jesus took the punishment for your sins. So mm -hmm. let's imagine you do that today. You trust he took your punishment, but then you do another sin tomorrow and you die two minutes later. Would you go to heaven or hell? Hell. Okay, I'll give you a hint. When Jesus died on the cross, he died not just for our past sins, he even died for all of our future sins as well. So go back to that so, question. I will go to heaven. Yeah, that's comforting, isn't it? So I guess the big question yeah. for you guys is this. When will you trust that Jesus took the punishment for your sins? This was the best thing okay. I've seen all night, bro. Yeah. No cap. That's cool. So yeah, when do you think you'll trust that? I think when, when time is right, yeah. like when you truly believe. Okay. Do you know when you're going to die, though? No, I don't. Could be any time, right? And so if you happen to die today without trusting that Jesus died for your sin, where would you go? To hell. Yeah, and that's definitely not where you want to go to. So what's stopping you from actually trusting that he died for your sins from today onwards? That's a really good question. I think it makes sense to do that, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, once you trust that he died for your sin, does that mean you can therefore just sin as much as you want? No. No. And why would you not want to? Because then I'm going to go where I don't want to go. Okay, but remember, he dies for your future sins as well, right? So that, that wouldn't affect that. But what did it cost Jesus to save you? His life. So would you want to keep on adding more punishment onto him by doing more sins? No. And so that'll motivate you to start living how he wants you to. Not because you have to, but because you want to. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. And so let's say you're standing before God today and God asks you, why should I let you into heaven? What would you say? Please. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Think back. What was the way to get to heaven? What do you have to do to get there? 
You have to truly believe in believe what? that Jesus took our sins. Yeah, exactly right. And so, if with that in mind, if God asks you, why should I let you into heaven, what do you say? I believe that. <clears throat> you I have believe. forgiven me for my sins. Yeah. You, so, so therefore, you wouldn't say, look, I've been a good person. I've done some good things. You'd say, yeah, God, I've done heaps of sins, but I know that Jesus died on the cross paying for my sin. And he'd say to you, yeah, welcome to heaven. All of your sins have been paid for in full. And so, do you guys have a Bible at home? Yeah. 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 When's the last time you read it? Well, we pray every day. So That's good. So you read but, the Bible every day as well? Yeah, yeah basically. Now the Bible will, will make a whole lot more sense to you. Now that you understand what the main message is, that it's mm -hmm. not about us keeping a set of rules so that we get to heaven. It's about God providing the way to heaven for us by the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. And so it'll make you far more joyful and happy because you won't fear death anymore. You'll be like, I know I'm going to heaven. And you'll have a, kind of a new purpose of living. You'll be like, I want to make Jesus my number one. He's made the biggest sacrifice for me. I want to devote my life for him. Now, I'm sure you guys know family or friends who are not yet currently trusting that Jesus died for their sins. And so if those people died today, where would they go? To hell. Yeah, so because you don't want them to go to hell, what could you do to help them not go there? Help them believe. Yeah, so just like you heard the message tonight, you can pass the message on by um, talking to people about how they can get to heaven through trusting that Jesus paid for their sin. And so, how sure are you guys that if you died today, that you'd go to heaven? Because you'd believe that Jesus took... She said, how sure are you? How sure? Yeah. Like, how sure are you that like if you died today... Like, 50%, 70 100%, what do you think? Probably like a 70. 70, okay, what about yourself? I'd say like a... In the middle. Okay. Now, why the... 30% not sure or 50% not sure because let's say this is all true and it happens but what if it's like there's a part where it's like religion isn't actually a part of death and it doesn't happen and it just you're just in the afterlife I would say that's not even a possibility just like this how sure are you that your house that you're in right now had a builder for it That had a what? A builder. How sure are you that the building you're in had a builder for it? Are you just fifty percent sure it had a builder, or you're like, nah, I'm certain it had a builder. Not one hundred, like you're certain that it had a builder. Exactly, we're hundred percent because buildings can't make themselves, right? Sorry, and so, in the same way with this yeah. universe, the universe can't make itself, and so since the universe had a beginning, it's got to have a creator for it. That's true. Right? So we can be 100% sure there's that? definitely a God. And we can also know that God cares about right and wrong because he's given all of us a conscience. We know right from wrong. And so since he cares yeah. about right and wrong, after we die, there's got to be a day of judgment. And so therefore, a good place you can go to and a bad place you can go to. And so that's why we don't even have to doubt that, oh, there's this could be nothing after we go. We know logically that wouldn't make sense because we know there's a creator and we know he cares about what, what we do in this life. And so we know we're either going to go to a good place or a bad place. Plus, mm -hmm. we even know that Jesus has proven himself to be true by coming back to life from the dead. Uh, we have good historical evidence that shows that. Um, and so that's why we don't even have to doubt any of that. Uh, but That's could true. it be one of the reasons why you're still not 100% sure you're going to heaven? Is it because you're like, well, I'm still not a perfect person. I sometimes sin. Is that why you're... Yeah. Bit? But think of it this way. How much of your punishment did Jesus take for you? All. So then how much punishment is left for you to get in hell? None. So then how sure can you be that you're going to heaven? 100%. Yeah, exactly right. Because what's getting you to heaven is nothing about how good you are. It's not about you stopping your sinning. It's based on what Jesus has done on the cross and simply believing that he's died for your sins. 
Now, obviously, believing that will cause you to want to stop sinning. You will want to get better and better at resisting your sin. But that's not mm -hmm. the way you get to heaven. That's just a result. Do you understand that? Yeah. 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 And so, do you guys remember what do you have to do to get to heaven? To believe, believe that, that Jesus took our sins. sins. Are you going to believe that from today? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I really hope you will. And yeah, once you believe that, you'll be like, I know I'm going to heaven. I'm 100% sure of it. And um, yeah, you'll you'll be wanting to get into the Bible every day because you'll be like, I love Jesus so much. I want to find out more about him. And I want to find out how he wants me to live my life. Now, do you have any questions? No. Wow, I just want to say you're amazing for this. No worries. I'm, I'm no one. I'm just an ordinary person. I'm a Christian, you know, sharing the gospel. But, you know, it's it's not... It's not me, it's the message. It's what God has done to provide salvation. Yeah, yeah. What's amazing. It's lovely meeting you guys. My name's Ryan. What's your name? Shayla. Eileen. Nice meeting you guys. And what was the, the guy on the phone? Sebastian. 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 Oh, cool. Well, it's so good. I'm from Australia. Where are you guys located? We're from San Jose. Oh, cool. All I'm nice. in Utah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'd say it's no accident that God paired us in this conversation. I think, you know, God's trying to get your yeah. attention. And so don't forget it. I hope that you'll believe it from today. And so even mm -hmm. if I never see you guys again, I'm hoping I do see you in heaven. And that's because you've decided to trust that Jesus has paid for your sin.